Two atoms are walking down the street. The first atom says he thinks he's lost an electron. The second atom asks, are you positive? <laughs> Madam Acting Deputy President, all things nuclear don't need to be scary. Nuclear power evokes the fear of the unknown because nuclear science is so extraordinary and because we don't have nuclear power here in Australia. But nuclear power is an unremarkable feature of energy markets around the world. Nuclear power has grown from 3.3 per cent of global ele electricity generation 40 years ago to 10.6 per cent now. Nuclear power is relied on in countries like South Korea and Sweden. In France, 75 per cent of electri electricity generation is nuclear, and countries such, the, such as the United States, United Kingdom and China are further expanding their nuclear power by developing small mod modular reactors, which generate little waste. Over 60 nuclear reactors are under construction right now, and China plans another 200 by 2050. There are 400 nuclear reactors in the world, and within 10 years there will be over 500. The global growth in nuclear power is ongoing, despite the 2011 disaster in Japan where an earth earthquake and tsunami killed 20,000 people and the resulting meltdown of an old and poorly sited nuclear power plant prompted significant upheaval, upheaval but killed no one. It goes against what hippies want to believe, but the nuclear power industry is significantly safer than any other large-scale energy-related industries. Fossil fuel power, hydropower, and wind power are more deadly, both in absolute terms and relative to the power they produce. That was the conclusion of the 2006 review commissioned by the Howard government, and it remains true today. So when I hear Luddites speaking about the dangers of nuclear power, I'm reminded of a joke. A guy walks up to a girl and says, let's chat. She says, what about? He says, how about nuclear power? She says, let me ask a question first. A deer, a cow and a horse all eat the same stuff, grass. Yet the deer excretes little pellets, while a cow turns out a flat paddy and a horse produces clumps of dried grass. Why do you think that is? The guy thought about it and said, hmm. I have no idea. To which the girl replied, do you really feel qualified to discuss nuclear power when you don't know crap? Madam Ac Acting Deputy President, today we are talking, we are debating a bill, a version of which I was drafting, but Senator Bernardi beat me to it. It is the Nuclear Fuel Cycle Facilitation Bill 2017. I heartily support the bill and I congratulate him for bringing it forward. The bill removes Commonwealth bans on nuclear power and on nuclear fuel processing, reprocessing and enrichment. These bans are found in the Environmental Protection and Biodiversity Conservation Act and the Australian Radiation Protection and Nuclear Safety Act. Removing these blanket bans still leaves nuclear power heavily regulated. Nuclear activities and installations would still need to satisfy the generic environmental approval requirements in the Environment Protection and Biodiversity Conservation Act. They would also need to be licensed under the Australian Radiation Protection and Nuclear Safety Act. Any nuclear activities in Australia would also continue to be subject to the, to the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Safeguards Act the Customs Prohibited Exports Regulations and Customs Prohibited Imports Regulations. This bill, quite rightly, removes Commonwealth bans on nuclear fuels and power, but I think we can go further to show to the parliament, the government and the people that we can manage the, fuel the nuclear fuel cycle in Australia. So I would seek to add to this bill by moving amendments at the committee stage. 
These amendments would establish a regulatory framework for nuclear fuels and power. They would allow the existing nuclear safety regulator, called ARPANSA, to issue licences to undertake nuclear activities, not just to the Commonwealth body, bodies that they currently issue licences to, but more generally. And they would require ARPANSA to make disallowable regulations regarding health, safety and environmental standards and minimum disaster insurance requirements. My amendments would also remove Commonwealth interference in state and territory decisions on uranium mining and the transportation and storage of nuclear power. This involves amendment of the Environmental Protection Northern Territory Supreme Court Act 1978, the Aboriginal Land Rights Northern Territory Act 1976, the Environment Protection Alligator Rivers Region Act 1978 and the National Radioactive Waste Management Act 2012. None of my amendments would trample on states' rights. So to get rid of the various bans on nuclear power that exist in state law, voters would need to vote at state elections for the Liberal Democrats. Or if they weren't quite such strong supporters of freedom, they could vote for the Australian Conservatives. Mr President, let me finish as I start with a cheesy joke to remind us all things nuclear don't need to be scary. A neutron walks into a bar. He orders a beer and asks the barman, how much do I owe you? The barman replies, for you, no charge.